Hey guys, this is Eric Binion from artofblog.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create a one column and a three column layout with Thesis 2. Now we're not going to cover the two column layout because the classic scan for Thesis 2 is already in a two column. Uh, sometime down the road we'll probably cover some editing CSS with Thesis and that's when we'll get into changing the column widths at that point. But for now let's go ahead and jump into the one column layout. All right, so what we're looking at right now is the skin editor. You can get to the skin editor uh, by clicking the thesis navigation tab, going to skins and then skin editor. All right, and so once we're here, we're in the HTML tab to start off with. This HTML tab, I hate to say it, but it controls all of your HTML. Uh, and you can tell it breaks it up into a nice little boxes I guess so you can kind of see how everything interacts with each other so header is contained within the main container and columns is contained within the main container um, it takes a little bit to wrap your head around but let's leave it at that for now alright so everything for this sidebar over here is within the sidebar column so it's actually really easy to create a one column layout all we have to do is click on the blue widgets, hold shift, and drag them into the content column. Do the same thing for the other blue widget. All right, so now they're in the content column. Let's go ahead and save that template. All right, so we already have one problem. First of all, our widgets from the sidebar are now showing up on top of our content. That's not what we want at all. The other thing is, we're only using about 600 pixels for the content and we're leaving off about two, 300 of them where the sidebar used to be. So we got to take care of that in CSS. But for now, let's go ahead and reposition these widgets below all the content. So let's drag it down below the previous next box. All right, we can save the template and they're going to be loaded at the bottom now. There we go. All right. So I just clicked on the CSS tab, and we're going to click on the columns package. All right, within the columns package, you'll notice if you go to options that there is no option for one column. So we're going to have to roll some custom CSS. Uh, the best way I found to do this is you can change the column width to 900 pixels, and then do alignment default, and save and let's go back and let's go to additional CSS and let's take out that background image right there that is the axis of the separator we save it again ah and so now we have a really basic one column layout um, it might even be worth it to go ahead and drag this sidebar column out so it's not even in the HTML That way we don't have any junk in there. All right. So as you can tell, it took just a couple minutes to get a basic one column layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset this so we can now do our three column layout. Now the main difference between a one column and a three column layout is for, for a one column, we, we actually took out a container div. For the three column layout, we're gonna have to add a container div. So to add a container, what you'll do is you'll come right here to the add boxes, you'll go to container, and you'll name it. Let's say sidebar 2, add box. All right, so we need to drag this to the, the columns box over there. So hold down shift, click, drag the columns, and now let's reposition it below the other sidebar column. Now, I just clicked on this widget icon right here because we're going to change a setting or two. In the HTML class, let's name it sidebar2. Alright, and then let's go ahead and create a widget box. Sidebar2 widget. So we can have at least some content in there. So again, hold shift, click, drag to sidebar2. Notice that you only have to hold shift and click when you want to drop the box within another box. If you just want to reposition, you don't have to. So, and then, and then also, 
it highlights very well so you know exactly where, which box you're dropping it in. So again, let's drop it in the sidebar too. Alright, and there it is. Alright, so that takes care of it for the template. Now, if you look over here, notice how sidebar 2 is now loading below the sidebars, but they're not separate side by side, they're on top of each other. We're going to have to take care of that in the CSS. So again, let's go back to the columns package. Uh, let's first, let's get rid of that dotted line, it's annoying, right? So, just delete that, save, that got rid of that separator line right there, and then let's click the columns package again, options, let's do the drop down, let's go three columns. Alright, so the hardest thing here is, you only have 900 pixels to work with, so the size of your column cannot go over 900 pixels. So, I decided that I would do 480 pixels. For the main content, I would do 209 pixels for the sidebars. And then on column 2 for sidebar 1, you have to change it to left aligned. Alright, and then we had, this was sidebar 2, yeah. Sidebar 2, also 209 pixel wide. It's going to be right aligned. And then all this padding, you can copy from the column 2 padding, but it's single half-half. So let's do single half-half. See how that looks. Ah, there we go. So you can tell in just another few minutes, we've created a one column and a three column layout just like that. Uh, it just, there's just the learning curve you have to get over. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to go to the website at artablog.com. Please leave a comment, and I'll get back to you on the website. Thank you.